Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today I thought I'd revisit one of my older videos. I uh, did it about four years ago and I put connectors on all my uh, tools. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, and really I get a lot of questions about is it holding up? Would I do it again? Um, how well do they work? Is it a pain in the butt? Is it easy? You know, I, I do get a lot of emails about that. So I thought I'd do a little follow up uh, like a four year later video. Um, would I do it again? Absolutely. Um, the main purpose of doing this in the first place is so I can fit them all in a drawer without winding up the cord and all that stuff. Really, I just unplug it, I throw it in a drawer, and I'm done. And that's the main thing. The one thing that absolutely makes it really nice is I outfitted a uh, electrical reel with that connector. And that connector is a locked connector. So you can't really pull it apart unless you pull the trigger. And I would recommend definitely at least one cord that has a locked connector. I'll put links in the description for some of the connectors that you can buy for this setup. And it's uh, really nice. And I would recommend getting an electrical reel that's rated for 10 amps or higher and putting the mail in of the IC, IEC connector on that. The tool gets the female in. So you'll have more female connectors than you will the male connectors. And I actually just ordered another 10 because over the last four years I've gained a few, few new tools that I'm going to be putting this connector system on to finish out my collection. Uh, if you're not familiar with the IEC connector, I'll get you a close up here in a second. But basically it's the same thing as most computers have. Um, it's that type of connector. And they just plug right in and you know you can switch back and forth from any tool with one cord. You don't have a bunch of cords laying around. You don't have anything to wind up and it's super nice. I did outfit my Craig Foreman with a flush mount IEC connector. I'll get you a close up of that as well. And this one don't have any cords at all. So I can just move that wherever I want, pull my electrical reel down, plug it in, do my thing, unplug it and put it away. Makes it super nice for the Craig Foreman. Uh, and there's plenty of room for that connector as well. Uh, it's super easy to retrofit that. Pros and cons on this system. Pros is you only have to deal with one or two cords at one time. And you can switch back and forth to any tool. That's the pro. That's the big pro. The second big pro is I can fit a lot of these in a tight spot in a drawer. And I'll get you a close up on that here in a second when I put these away. And I can fit a lot more of them in because I don't have a bunch of cord laying around or to tie up or anything like that. So that's a definitely big pro. One con that I can think of is if you loan out one of these tools and you don't have a backup cord to give them, um, then that creates a problem. I have plenty of extra cords, uh, so it's not a big deal for me, but that might be one con if you happen to loan out your tools to your kids or your family or friends or whatever. Uh, just keep an extra cord. Now on the upside is, if they have a computer cord, they can make it work. It'll work. So really all you need is a six foot computer cord. You can buy those pretty easy. They're about three to five bucks uh, on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for a lot of this stuff. And I'll put a link in the description for the original video as well. Uh, let me show you one of the big benefits is to putting away these tools without tying up all those cords. So I have a pretty shallow drawer, and if I had the uh, tool and the cords in here, that would eat up a lot of space. So because I don't have the cords to play with, I can fit quite a bit in a small package. And if you get a system down where you know where everything goes, <laughs> you can fit 
one, two, three, four, five power tools in this one tiny drawer. And they're all put away. This is one tool that I need to switch over the thing. And you can see, I mean, because of that cord, it eats up more room that I can't put anything there. But when I don't have a cord in there, it eats up a lot less space. So I'd store my Craig Foreman way up here, and if I had a cord to deal with as well, it might be a little cumbersome to put up there. But with no cord, it's pretty easy. IEC connectors look like. Uh, like you said, like I said earlier, it's basically like a, any computer power supply plug. And uh, this one happens to be a locking one, so you have to actually pull this red pin back to actually unlock it from the connector. You can push it in without doing anything to the red, but in order to get it off, you have to pull that red pin. And that is nice if you're dragging a tool like on a uh, track saw or something like that. You don't want that to unplug easily. Uh, this uh, helps with that as well. So you got a mail in, which is going to be your power from your extension cord or your electrical reel, anything like that. And you got a female in, which is uh, has the exposed uh, pins, and those are the ones you want on your tool. And think outside of the box, even on a soldering iron how much less wire that is. This is kind of cobbled together, but uh, how much less wire that is to deal with when you just have that sitting in your drawer instead of this and 10 feet of wire. So it's a lot easier doing it this way and it comes in handy for sure. So consider the IEC connectors. I'll leave a link in the description for a bunch of connectors you can also just Amazon search IEC connectors and you'll find a whole slew of connectors. What I did on my Amazon is I actually created a uh, uh, wish list and it has all the different connectors that I might use in the future. And whenever I need one or a set of them, I just go right to that list, I click it, buy it, and it's here in a few days. It's really nice. Um, IEC connectors uh, for your power tools, a plus in my book. Not much downside, but a whole lot of benefits. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.